In this short video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, workflow and kind of how how one organizes um, the, the work that, that, that you do. And so it, I'm showing this. This is a logo that we're creating for a project in sixth grade. And the project is called Quest, as you can see. Um, but it had to do with, uh, in this case, the surrounding the concept of water. And so I was trying to bring in some influential graphics. And so uh, you, can, you can see down here a graphic of uh, a sunset and a uh, palm tree. This is another one that's like that. And I was just testing things out. And as you can look over here, started with just the word quest with maybe a cue to figure out what might look good, uh, a large cue with some color. Um, and then I moved into, I found this online when I was looking for sunsets. i uh, sorry, when I was looking for waves, I found this. Uh, item that really kind of looked like a queue in some ways. And so I thought, oh, okay, well, what if I make that into an actual queue? And so um, going through processes like this allows me to iterate over time and move from sort of one idea to the next and get feedback from the people who are on the team. And, and uh, you know, the, using this workspace like this allows me to put all my materials on the outside and then put my current test material on, on the inside, the, the part that actually gets printed. In this case, I would just share out, you know, each of these models would end up in the space so that I can share out what was ever on the actual, on the actual artboard. Um, okay, so that's, that's workflow.